so hi friends this is amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video so so the shift one of fab 25 has been over now and i am here with the analysis of the paper as i am getting the review from the student that is a student reaction so the uh, so the paper i will talk about the paper and what will be the cutoff and what is the difficulty level for the shift one of 25th exam that is now over so if you are first to my channel please subscribe it so that you will get the further video also i will do the similar video for sip 2 also and uh, upcoming sip also and i have already made the uh, 24th uh, fab to a first sip second sip analysis and solution all the video you will get in the i button as well as in the description box so i request you again please subscribe this channel you will get all the support and guide throughout the counseling and you will get all the type of doubt clear in this uh, in this channel and if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section or on my instagram also i will provide the link or id in the description box so let's start the video so the label and expected cutoff so i am here uh, discuss what is the label how you should prepare if your shift is next so that you will have a good score so try to watch the video till the end so that you will have the complete information so chemistry was easy to moderate as is the as it was the case of yesterday also and it was ncrt based because uh, almost 10 to 15 question were directly from ncrt so you should if your shift is first uh, that is tomorrow uh, first shift exam will be there uh, so if you if you are uh, going to appear for the first shift then you should focus on ncrt more now because you can score well uh, by studying the ncrt book itself so try to focus on NCRT for chemistry because uh, the yesterday's shift one uh, question will uh, sim uh, was similar to the uh, today's first shift. So there is a similarity between first shift. So if you are appearing for the first shift, you need to take care about the first shift analysis. So uh, the physics was moderate and more formula based questions. So you need to learn the formula especially for the modern physics that is photoelectric effect and other uh, all topic regarding the modern physics you should learn that formula because the question from the modern physics was based on the uh, formula as the student have suggested after the, uh, after appearing for the first shift of 25th fab uh, so and and uh, i would like to tell you that chemistry for the second shift was tricky yesterday but uh, today again for the first shift it was easy and uh, ncrt based so for the first shift exam you should consider ncrt book as first preference to get more marks in the chemistry subject and for physics you can uh, study the notes and uh, and more importantly uh, study the formula of the modern physics and easy topic and uh, study the notes for uh, the communication system semiconductor because there will be direct question from the notes itself from that topic so try to focus on this and try to um, get the information through this video about the first shift so that you can score more marks in the later that will be the benefit for late late exam of you because many a student do the first shift of 24th they don't have any information which type of question will be asked but you have the information so use this to get the good marks so math was also moderate 12th question around 12 question some student told 10 question 8 12 uh, we are easy that is from uh, mathematical reasoning um, uh, permutation combination uh, 3d and matrices determinant so these are the topic you can easily learn in short time and you can uh, score more marks so the motto of this video is only uh, is to provide you the information regarding the pattern of the question so that you can prepare well and if you are uh, appearing for the uh, march attempt or next attempt then you can prepare well uh, between the days from now to that attempt so next is so overall paper was similar to the uh, fab 24 shift 1 because the second shift question was little tricky uh, in especially in the chemistry so the overall paper for the second shift was little uh, difficult than the first shift but uh, today again the for the first shift the question we are similar to the first shift of 24 so you can expect the cutoff will be remain around the similar for the shift 1 of 24 and shift uh, shift 1 of 25 also so for shift 1 try to study accordingly that means uh, uh, the tra try to uh, analyze the trend which are going to follow for first shift of the 24 25th and now on the 26th i am sure also there will be similar question uh, that have been asked in the first shift of 24 and 25th so try to study accordingly if you have time 
and then uh, try to score more marks in your uh, respective shift so what will be the cutoff so i think the cutoff will be remain same as of uh, shift 1 of 24th that i have already talked about that in the video that is marks versus percentile versus your category rank in which i have separately told the cutoff for each and every category so watch that video to get the cutoff information and that will be similar but for the second step of the uh, yesterday exam there will be cutoff decrease because the paper was slightly tricky due to the chemistry paper so this is all about the cutoff and what will be the marks versus percentile so you can uh, surely depend on the marks versus percentile video in which i have talked about marks versus percentile versus your category rank so that you will have the expected category rank on your expected marks what you are going to get in the shift one of 25th, 25th fab exam so this is all about the label and expected cutoff one more thing i would like to tell you that uh, next i will make a video on the uh, memory based question and their solution so stay tuned uh, with this channel you will get all the guide and support and i request you again please subscribe this channel you will get the all type of information and update not only uh, for j main but also for other entrance exam also so thanks for watching the video